and one splitting the two games here and they have another game a week or so down uh, 1100 miles in the desert. The story of the games up here has been that the Sonics have come out at the outset of the first two games and applied tremendous defensive energy and pressure had big leads. Barkley takes it to the hole. So is Barkley. Barkley indeed underlines his statement on the Sean Kemp touches the ball for the first time in the game. That's a two point attempt over the top to the Suns. The fans are. There's the first steal by Seattle, the best in the league, averaging 13 and 10. And that'll get the crowd going. Sean Kemp's first points. The Sonics are just a little over 100 steals away from breaking the NBA record set by Phoenix back in 77-78. They double up on the ball, and when they can force a turnover, they look to sprint the other way. Kemp had enough time to look at everybody and say, watch this. In the ball before the double team. The longer you hold the ball, uh, the more effective their double teams are going to be. Spinning on the baseline away from Kevin Johnson, and Gil has Seattle by six as Kevin Johnson fires. Rebound to Kemp. They break out three on two to Gill. And Kemp led that fifth three brilliantly, and they love it in Seattle. The Sonics explode early and lead by eight. Kendall Gill is the reason that the Sonics fans are on their feet, and with this kind of control of his body and being able to get right into the rim, uh, he has the fans on their seat. Sean Kemp has a chance to pick up an assist, and Gill and the Sonics. Back to the action, and the block by Kemp. Taken back, and Sabalas can't connect. Cage with a rebound. That's three boards for Cage at the other end. Four second clock. Well, he was 13 feet, as you say, and you're a couple of feet off of your seat as Sean Kemp, the rain man, brings them down one more time. Peyton and Kemp have almost perfect. Gets Miller in the air, and it's Peyton for two. Rebound Kemp, knocked away by Miller. Kevin Johnson as a Kemp took a dive. Sabalas with an easy two off the break. It's a six-point game. The Suns are very explosive. They like to run, so they're going to be looking to try to create some turnovers themselves and get into a sprint game. Kemp. Oh, oh, oh. what are you going to do now? First he goes 13 feet, and then almost between his legs to score on the next one. Marley answers at the other. Suns are only down six, so they, they have to feel good about where they are, and they haven't really gotten into the game. Shrimp with a nice move. Very nice to handle the, full, the ball out on the floor, and he loves it when he gets a chance to do this. It's Gill over Marley. Marley got a piece of it. Kemp unable to hit the rebound. Gets it back. How did he get that in? He had to play a billiard shot off the back. Here comes Kevin Johnson. Stolen by McMillan. It's 192nd. What a pass. Forty-four point pace. And well, Paul, no. Paul Westfall knows that they're not going to continue at this pace, and he's got to find someone that's going to keep his team in the game right now. They've got to be able to create some offensive energy uh, to stay close until they get some defensive concept of how to shut them down. between your legs, a spin shot off the
the board, he's putting on a clinic. In other words, you're saying he can do it all. Unbelievable quarter. It has been an open court game that has been keyed by the defense of the Sonics. It's Nate McMillan with the steal and a long bounce pass. Kendall Gill continues to thunder over the doors. Dan Marley. Dan Marley with six. Kemp at the other end. Sean Kemp, who is a brilliant, brilliant talent, and he showed just about all of his repertoire. What does he have left? An amazing quarter, leading Seattle to a 15-point lead after one. Sam Perkins over Klein is short. Rebound Barkley. Barkley's starting to take charge. He'll try the three. Yes. Barkley indeed says, okay, you want a little spur to get going? They double on Kevin Johnson and make him give the ball up, and that makes them take more time off the clock. They're working against the clock at five. And Barkley guns from the baseline. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. Shots going in make a big difference at both ends of the floor. That's one for seven shooting in this quarter for Seattle. And Barkley sneaks ahead of the pass. And it's 45-39. Barkley won by the Phoenix Suns. They knew that they would be able to make a run. They didn't want them to make it all up this quickly. And with 7.05 left, we have a ball game. And uh, George Carl is very concerned. And Frank Johnson. Rebound Kemp again. He has eight. Payton to the driving Gill. This is Kemp with a foul. Didn't take long for him to. Back out to Frank Johnson. Rebound Barkley. And this is the closest drive here in Seattle. The home Sonics leading. Phoenix with the ball. Two and a half minutes to go in this first half. Barkley. He has 11. Make that third. Back in it here in the final minute of play. Coming inside to Sam Perkins. Perkins blocked by Miller. Here come the Suns looking for the lead. Barkley to Marley. And Phoenix leads 54-53. What a quarter for Phoenix answering a sensational first quarter. Wrapped up by the Sonics. Shrimp blocked by Barkley. Controlled by Miller to Barkley. Three on two. Sabalas blocked by Peyton. Barkley. Oh, my, what a surge by the Suns. The same thing happened in the first quarter. One team was running and shooting layups. The other team was shooting tough shots and under defensive pressure and jump shots. And the Suns have reversed that, and they're on top. Worst quarter of the season for Seattle was 12. They have only 13. And another block by Barkley. And he tells Peyton, get out of here. Marley at the buzzer. Almost hit a three, and that would have really been the capper. What a quarter for the Phoenix Suns. And Barkley, he says, that was so good, I don't want to go to the locker room. Let's keep going. Peyton comes in, thought he has it, and uh, knocked away, as Barkley can do, and a little message on the end to say, this may be your house, but it may be fault. At six, four and a half, Barkley, 10 rebounds in the game. Brown Kemp. Gets his own rebound. And a foul, and that could be on Kemp. It is his fourth. He came out looking for four on Kemp. He ran over to the official before the start of the, of the half and said, watch me. And he does a good job up with the ball. Kemp goes for it. He misses the first time, gets his own shot, and then on the quick throw back up, gets the rake. You see, now this is a player. The floor and the sidelines. Well, he's always had a lot to say when he's been up here, but watch him go over and have a little something to say to George Carl as he steals some of that. I feel like I can use some of those old pro tricks on him if I get an opportunity. But the thing I want to do is just not let him get emotional and hyper and get the crowd involved. Because when he starts blocking shots and dunking and everything, he's very dangerous. Or that was yesterday. How prophetic. In the first quarter, Kemp was exactly that. Dunking, making sensational plays, crowd in order. And then Barkley indeed used some of those old pro. Shot and a touch by McMillan. Last out of bounds. McMillan saying, I may have touched it last, but it's because I was fouled. And he does a technical. And things are not going well for Seattle. Second technical foul. Kemp hit earlier in this quarter. 
Charles Barkley looking at the official saying, good job, nice job. <laughs> well, you know whenever you chase an official down, you're asking for trouble, and that's what McMillan did after the call went right on his ear. As a, he said he touched it with both hands before he put it back down, but the ball did clearly go yeah, off. Of that was a good call. Kevin Johnson. Ah! Shrimp had it knocked away by Sabalas and Barkley. Phoenix sitting on its biggest lead, nine, and Barkley goes for three more. Five on a shot clock. Perkins from way outside hits it. His first points of the game. Big three. Four seventeen to go, third quarter. The Suns will let you back in the ball game, but you got to do it by making them shoot under pressure. They haven't had to do it here in the third quarter. Barkley hits again. 22 to lead all scorers for Barkley. Perkins. should get up and get on the ball. They're going to let Kevin Johnson dictate what they do in the final seconds. Four on the shot clock. Marley from way outside hits the three. Well, he was running out of time, and he had to 40 in the first quarter, and then the second and third combined get 35. And meantime, Charles Barkley with a twinkle in his eye. It's going right to his game plan as the Phoenix Suns lead by 12. We'll be back after a word. And a half court. Kip gets the miss. And McMillan with a save on a bad pass to Askew. Every possession important for Seattle. Good fake by Kim. 19 for Sean Kim. Five. Kevin Johnson stolen by McMillan. Johnson and A.C. Green were trying to pull back the official, Bill Spooner, from <laughs> blowing the whistle. Kemp gets only one. Now the technical foul. And now the ball on the sidelines. Four-point game. Now right here, they're trying to keep him from getting that technical call, but Spooner, he's determined. Yes. Kevin Johnson over Payton. Rebound Kemp. McMillan, three on two. All alone is Payton. That's goaltending. Basket to Seattle. 197, the Sonics lead. Gary Payton had got away from all of the Suns defender, Kevin Jones. 16 points for Askew. Barkley, Sabalas, that does count. 111-108. George Carl Sonics have clinched the Pacific Division. Is the title and tonight don't miss an exciting